In this video, I'm going to show you a profitable blog niche idea. This niche is very simple to get into. Anyone without any special knowledge can start a successful blog in this niche. I'm going to reveal to you a website in this niche that is probably making well over $8,000 a month from this niche. And I'm going to reveal to you some keywords on which you can write content right now that has got a keyword difficulty of literally zero. And there are thousands of these keywords that you can use to start your profitable blog in this niche right now. What's up everybody? My name is Greg Kononenko. You might also know me as the caffeinated blogger. If you are new to this channel, click the subscribe button just below this video and tick the bell notification icon to make sure that you get notified as soon as I upload my next video. On this channel, my goal is to help you make a full-time income online so that you can have a better future for yourself and your family. If you're interested in starting a niche blog or a niche website, then you need to make sure that the niche that you're going to start your website in has got a great potential to make money. That's why when I help out beginner bloggers in my Facebook group, I tell them of various ways of finding profitable niches and making sure that there is good money to be made in that niche. And one of the ways that I recommend uh, to the people in my group to uh, start their research is to find income reports online of other successful bloggers uh, some people who own niche websites share their results online and that's how I managed to come across this lady who runs the blog called thefloringgirl.com. That's the domain. So she published an income report in November 2017 for her blog and she reported then in, in October 2017 she made $2,000 from her blog. So here we can see that for her passive income results, she's put down affiliate sales, $903, and vast majority of it came from the Amazon affiliate program. And then she also put down ad revenue, $1,000 and 90, well, $1,095. And most of that uh, came from the Monumetric Ad Network, which basically manages the AdSense ads on the site. So I can see from here that total passive income is $2,000 and this blog is, I guess, in a niche that probably most of you have never even thought of entering. It's in the flooring niche. And if we look at the homepage of the blog, there is nothing super complicated about it. And um, there are sections that talk about flooring blog, FAQs, cleaning and supplies, pets and flooring, painting, etc. Now, of course, this report is from October 2017. So it's a little bit old. It's over two years old. And if we look at extra income reports category on her site, they, this is the most recent income report that she actually published. She stopped publishing them in October 2017. So I have investigated this website in Ahrefs to see how this website has progressed and how much money could it be making now. So when I look at the stats for this website, theflooringgirl.com in the Ahrefs tool, I can see that this website is currently ranking for 94.4 thousand various organic keywords. So that's amazing. That's a huge volume and organic traffic at the moment is noted as 83.4 thousand. Now, usually I know that this figure is understated. So most likely this website is getting probably closer to 200 thousand visitors per month. That would be my guess based on my experience. But we never know. Of course, this is all just an estimate. I can also see that the traffic on this website has grown a lot. So in October 2017, it was getting approximately 25,000 page views. So we can see the historic data here in Ahrefs. Uh, and if I go to the past few months, I can see that around October 2019 is getting close to 100,000 visitors. Now there are these peaks and that's because of the summer season in Europe and in the US, there are normally, you know, these peaks. And then during winter, the traffic kind of drops off because people spend less time on renovations and various things like that. So we know that roughly this website now is getting 100,000 and it used to be getting about 25,000. So basically the traffic has grown about four times. So it's increased about 300% or, you know, it's four times higher now than what it was in October 2017. We've got that data. And we know that this blog was making eight, uh, $2,000. It was making $2,000 in October 2017. So now if we multiply this by four, then this website has got to be making at least $8,000 per month if we hold all of our assumptions true and the revenue per visitor stays about the same. Now guys, I want to draw your attention to something 
This website makes its income from affiliate sales and ad revenue. This is 100% passive. Okay, so you just link via your affiliate link from the blog posts to Amazon. Uh, and you also have these ads on the website and you don't need to do anything else. Everything else is passive. The traffic comes, they click on the links, they click on the ads and you get paid the money. If we look at some of the blog posts, you don't need to be a specialist to write this kind of contact. You don't need to be a doctor, you don't need to be a lawyer, you don't need to have a qualification in finance or anything like that. Anybody, yourself included, can start a blog in this niche because the content is not extremely complicated. It's just personal experience and just some steps about how to do different things with floors, reviews of various uh, flooring covers and so on. And you can see that the way that this content is monetized, of course, we've got ads on the right hand side, but also throughout the article, uh, there are these kind of calls to action to see, want to see floor cleaning products I recommend. And then there are these links. This is my first choice, vacuum for hardwood floors, best steam mop for tile floors, etc. And these links, if you click on them, they will take you to Amazon. And of course, if somebody buys something through this link, then the owner of this website will get paid a commission from Amazon for referring the sale. That's how this is monetized. And the income, as we saw from the income report, it's split about 50-50 between ads and affiliate commissions. So that is pretty cool. But yeah, the monetization strategy for this kind of website is really, really simple. All right, now let's take a look at some of the keywords that this website is ranking for. So you can see that 84,000 keywords here, this is what this website is currently ranking for, according to Ahrefs. And um, out of 84,000 keywords, if I filter only for simple keywords that a starter website. So if you start a website today, uh, then generally my, in my experience, you should be looking at keywords for under seven. Okay, so if you decide to go for this niche, then I recommend for you to limit your keyword difficulty to maximum seven. So let's hit apply and you will see that 37,000 out of 84,000 keywords are actually simple keywords okay so majority of the keywords for this website are very simple to rank for and you can certainly there is just there are thousands and thousands of extremely simple keywords i can even take the keyword difficulty down to one and there will still be thousands of keywords so there are fourteen thousand keywords where basically there is absolutely zero competition and you can write content on these keywords and some of you might be thinking, well, now everybody's gonna start a website dedicated to flooring, but guess what? There are 14,000 different keywords. So even if 10 people who watch this video end up starting a website in this niche, it's not going to be overcrowded because there are 14,000 different keywords that are insanely simple. So there's enough search volume of uh, traffic for everybody. Okay, so let's say you have decided that maybe this is a good niche and maybe you're interested in starting a blog in it. The thing that you might be thinking about is how do I create the content? What sort of information do I need to put on there? What kind of images? So let me take you through that. For example, let's analyze this keyword here, dark hardwood floors. So the search volume is 2000, which is pretty huge. Keyword difficulty is one, which is very low. And if we look in the SERP, we can see that the competition is also very low. There are some super weak websites that are ranking for a 24 million ranking, 2.4. So uh, there are also a couple of Pinterest results, which basically means that there is very, very little competition. If you create a good quality article, even as a newbie website, you should be able to start ranking for this. Let's look at how the flooringgirl.com structure their content. So they write listicle type articles that just say 11 exquisite dark hardwood floors to transform your home. Now what uh, they will do is they will basically write an introduction saying that dark hardwood floors are very popular and then they will put the uh, information about these dark hardwood floors and some of the designs. So you can see here there are some pictures of the hardwood floors and then some tips for choosing the floors, there's gloss levels etc. And then there are the actual 
designs that are shown in here as well. Okay, so then you can see the pictures with the designs here. So it's a fairly simple article to reproduce. But the question might be, how do you actually come up with the pictures? I'm going to show you, I'm going to give you a tip on how to find all these pictures for free that you can create your content with. So first of all, you type in dark hardwood floors into Google. And yeah, sure enough, the flooring girl is the number one result for this. And then what you would do is you would go into images and then choose settings and then go advanced search. And then under usage rights here, choose free to use, share or modify even commercially and hit advanced search. Now what you will see here is all of the photos that have got a license that are attached to them, which allows you to use these photos on your website and you can even modify them as well because we have um, selected this filter, which basically will pull up only the images that have got that permission. And you can see that there are a lot of these images are on sites like Pexels, for example. So Pexels is a website that has got a lot of images or various types that you can use even on your website. You can use it commercially in your project. So we can type in here hardwood floor and let's see what kind of floors will actually come up here. Okay, so we, we've got all of these hardwood floors images that we can download from here. So you might just need to register. You can download it and you can use it on your website any way that you want. And that's exactly how you're able to create that kind of content, which you can see here on the, the flooringgirl.com website, which allows you to, you know, you will just create a collage sort of thing of these images. And um, that's it. There you go. You've got you've got your your content. You've got all of your images set up that you can just use like this. Well, now that you know that this niche is awesome and has got the potential to make you six figures per year, you might be thinking, how do you actually set up the blog? Well, for that, you can check the description below this video. I've got several videos that I've put links to from my channel that are completely free to for you to watch. And you can follow them step by step to set up your website from scratch. If you do want to check out my training course that comes with the mentorship program, then check the links in the description below. It's on a 35% discount right now. My course includes super detailed training about 50 videos, how to set up your website, how to get traffic to it, and also includes access to the exclusive Facebook group. It's a mentorship group where you can ask me questions. I help you one on one with anything that you need to make sure that your website is successful. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure to click the subscribe button just below this video so that you can get notified about my next videos as soon as I upload them. I'll be making these reviews of profitable niches on a weekly basis and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thank you for watching.